again, boys and girls. I'm happy to say that three of my butterflies have emerged. Only two left to go. I actually moved them upstairs uh, last night and put them on the my front porch where the dogs couldn't disturb them. And maybe the warmer temperature being upstairs, definitely warmer today, may have helped too. And that one that had fallen when it was in the started to pupate before it started to build its chrysalis when it was formed in the J that I put in the leaf that the other caterpillars kind of made webbing and made it into a cradle for him. He did emerge too. I don't know if he's going to be able to fly though. His wings don't look fully formed, but that's how nature can be, right? Because we know that sometimes God makes people who have different things about them and they have to live their life differently. Like when we talked about people who are sensory impaired, maybe their eyes don't work as well or their ears don't work as well and they find other ways to live. I think this butterfly will as well. He's been crawling along the bottom of the netting, enjoying some flowers and some orange slices. So it's part of nature too. So we're going to review the parts and the jobs of the butterfly and today on Seesaw uh, you might need a grown-up's help to read the words for you but if you use the beginning letter I think you'll be able to do it and you're going to label the butterfly like I have here dragging over the names of each part and then record yourself telling me something that you remember that I taught you that the parts do. Okay. So let's review the parts. Okay, these two are called the antenna, right? It begins with the letter A. And why are the antenna helpful to the butterfly? They use them to feel, to smell, and to keep balance. Okay, so in the fact that it helps them to feel, that also helps them find safe places to lay their eggs, right? They wouldn't want to lay eggs on something that's wet, so they use their antenna. They use them for smelling to help them find their food, right? And then the balance part is so that they're not flying crooked or flaw while they're flying. Okay, just like our arms help us keep balance. Okay, so the antenna, okay, and then their drinking straw, the proboscis, starts with a P, right? Proboscis helps them drink the nectar. They like the sweet nectar from flowers. And of course they have their head that has to hold the antenna and their eyes, so their eyes help them find food too. Now when they were in the larva stage, when they were caterpillars, their eyesight wasn't so great. They couldn't see bright colors. As a butterfly, they can see bright colors. So talk about a complete transformation. Even their eyesight got better. Okay, so when they were caterpillar, they saw dull, and they didn't need to see bright colors because they were on leaves, and they ate leaves, right? So their eyesight helps them find bright colored flowers that they can enjoy with their proboscis. Okay, then we said they have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. So their legs are attached there, right? We all need a body part. We have our torso, okay, and their abdomen is used for when they lay eggs. The females will lay the eggs from their abdomen and the male will fertilize the egg with his abdomen so that it can become a caterpillar because an unfertilized egg wouldn't hatch. Okay, and then they have four sets of wings, right? We look at the butterfly and say, oh yeah, butterfly has two symmetrical wings, but each wing has two parts, two part wings. So. The top part and the bottom part. Okay, the top part is the four wings. Okay, the bottom part is the hind wings. So being that this butterfly is folded in half right now, like picture you only see half its wings, two plus two more is four. So technically we see it as two wings, but it's really four because there's the four wing, not the number four, the upper wing, and the hind wing, the back wing. And then these lines are their veins. Kind of, our blood keeps us pumping, and they have special blood that keeps them pumping. And when, I guess when they eat, the nutrients can help their circulation and they can fly. Okay, and how many legs? Six, right. All insects have head, abdomen, thorax, and six legs. Some have wings, like the butterfly. Okay, I think we went over all the parts. We'll do it real quick again. Antenna right? For feeling, smelling, and balance. 
The head holds the antenna, and we have an eye, holds the proboscis so that they can drink. The thorax and the abdomen hold their six legs. The abdomen lay the eggs or fertilize the eggs. Four wings. Each wing has a fore wing, meaning an upper wing, and a hind wing, meaning the back wing, and then veins. When you open seesaw, the one that is labeled veins, that one is done for you so that you know what to do. Okay, and we also talked about uh, defense mechanisms, ways they can protect themselves. Some butterflies we said have eye spots, right? Like a peacock's feathers, looks like eye spots. So another animal, a predator, seeing this creature that he might think about eating with so many eyes would get really scared because they would think, whoa, look at all those eyes, I'm not going to eat that. Okay, another thing that we talked about for defense mechanisms are warning colors. In nature, typically these bright colors like red and orange and yellow are warning colors to other animals that this animal could be poisonous or taste yucky. Another one about their color is sometimes if you notice on your butterflies when their wings are folded, they look kind of dull and brown, right? That's camouflage. That will help them blend in if they're on a branch. Okay, another cool thing about them, now this is the monarch butterfly. It has similar colors to the painted lady butterfly, but both the monarch butterfly and the painted lady butterfly look very similar to another butterfly called the viceroy butterfly. And now creatures in nature know that the viceroy butterfly tastes really yucky, so they won't eat the viceroy butterfly. Since these two butterflies resemble or mimic Mimic means to copy, so in nature it's called mimicry. They have mimicry to help protect them because they resemble, they mimic, they look like the viceroy butterfly that is yucky tasting. So that helps protect them too. Another defense mechanism. And now I told you that their flag, their flag, what are these called? Wings are made up of scales, and you saw a picture in your little booklet there, and they look like little scales, almost like on a fish, but they're not hard scales, they're soft scales. Okay, the book that I'm going to show you now is really cool, because they are close-ups of butterflies. This is somebody who studied butterflies, and actually found so many different kinds of butterflies, 26 to be exact, and found a hidden letter on the wings. So you're going to look carefully, and you'll see the letters. It's called the Butterfly Alphabet. A. On wings soft across the skies, an alphabet of butterflies. So that is a close-up of a butterfly's wing with what letter? Right? A. Pretty cool. Each B. Each butterfly in secret brings a letter hidden in its wings. And now if you look on this page, this shows you the butterfly that they zoomed in on. Pretty cool, right? C. The rainbow gave to butterflies spots of color just their size. Now he's got eye spots. See it there? And this is the close up. What letter? The letter C. They dance among the forest lights. Like floating flower petal sprites. What letter? See the D? That's the butterfly it's from. They zoomed in and found a D on its wings. Now if you look close, I'll move it close. See the kind of looks scaly? Each lifted by a gentle breeze. They soar above with simple ease. A letter, E. See the E? There's the butterfly it came from. See the close-up? In their soundless, soundless flutter, see a playful color melody. A letter, F. 
In the words I read, there's a clue of what letter. See? Glided like a jeweled crown, or like a fancy wedding gown. A letter. A letter. G. And that's the butterfly I came from. Each a tiny, stringless kite soaring up to treetop height. The letter H. So innocent and uh, unaware of the riches that they wear. A letter. Lowercase i. The joy a butterfly imparts awakens wonder in our hearts. Ooh, that's a pretty one. This is called a swallow tail. Any butterfly that has a tail that goes out like that is a type of swallow tail. And see? What letter? J. Behold their lovely sparkling flight. A kaleidoscope of color bright. The letter K for kaleidoscope. There's the butterfly it came from. He's got some eye spots. The flutter of their little wings inspires love for all small things. Love. What letter? L. There's the butterfly it came from. Merry nymphs in a brilliant dress, messengers of happiness. A letter, Mary. N. Some of these are moths, too, I'm noticing. A moth is different than a butterfly. Moths lay their, their wings open flatter than a butterfly, too. And sometimes their thorax and abdomen are thicker than the butterfly. Butterflies enchant the hours, sipping nectar from the flower. Nectar. What letter? Right. N. Look at his wings. Ornaments floating in the air, chiming for all, all who see them there. This is a buckeye butterfly. Why do you think he's called a buckeye butterfly? Letter O for ornament. But why do you think he's called a buckeye butterfly? Look at all the eye spots he has. See? And that is zoomed in on one. They tumble on the breeze all day like carnival acrobats at play. Play. A letter. Right, P. This is a type of moth as well. T. Very cool. Can you see the kind of scales on the wings? Quickly, quickly, qua qua, quickly flitting, never still, free to wander where they will. And you can see the scales good on this one. Uh, Q. Wow, that's cool. Eye spots there. See the scales? Radiant colors catch the light. Imagination taking flight. This is a tiger moth. This is the letter R. This one is called a tiger moth. See how thick his head, abdomen, and thorax are? They usually have thicker antenna too, kind of fuzzy on a moth. Very cool. QR. What letter's next? S. When butterflies in a garden meet, every flower smells more sweet. This is another, here's the S. Not see the tail? It's another type of swallowtail butterfly.
Do our S. What letter's next? Right, K. Hey. Nature's angels fill the skies in twinkling butterfly disguise. T. That's a good one to see scales, too. You see the scales? See the T? It's called the shoemaker butterfly. QRST. What letter's next? U. Each morning, butterfly wings unfold their treasure scarlet, blue, and gold. Wow, he's cool looking. U. What he looks like. V. So simple is the majesty of nature's vibrant tapestry. Vibrant is colorful. See that V? Wow. How cool for someone to make this book. I think I bought it in Vermont a long time ago. W. Delicate wings grace the air as, gen as gently as a whispered prayer. This is another type of moth. And moths you usually see at nighttime, whereas butterflies you see them out in the daytime. Moths, there's the W. Moths like to be near lights. X. No delight is more exquisite than a surprise butterfly visit. This is a moth. He's cool looking. He's got bright colors. X. I guess he would be a swallowtail moth. A lunar moth is really cool to see. Why? Daydreaming are fancy flies yonder with the butterflies. Why? See why? That's the butterfly. It's on. These are super magnified. Got them really close to see that. Z. A butterfly wish that all may see and love their zigzag liberty. Flying in freedom, zigging and zagging. The letter Z on this butterfly. He's got, check out his eye spots. Cool book, right? Yeah, there's a little information about each butterfly or more. Very cool. And then here, here's them all. How come they didn't show us with the numbers? No, they don't. But on the back, this person that wrote the book even found a one, a two, a three, a four. Wow. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And big eye spot there. Okay. Okay, so on Seesaw today, you're going to label the parts of the butterfly and then record yourself telling me what you remember about those important parts they have. And you may do the word search, okay? And uh, I think that will pretty much conclude all of your butterfly activities. So any activities that you have in your um, the kit that came, any pages that you want to do, you can go right ahead and do them. This week doesn't have any more butterfly papers for you, but I might have another butterfly story tomorrow because I love butterflies and I love butterfly stories and I love you. All right, so by tomorrow, I should have five butterflies to tell you about. I'll see you then.